Hello friends, I'm Tiffany Orr, the production stage manager at MT Wichita. I was asked to chat with you today as a part of the Masterclass series. However, I talked about stage management a few years ago in a podcast with Roy Leitner and Amanda Bowman. So if you want to hear more about what I do as a stage manager, feel free to listen to that podcast. It's a little more nuts and bolts. Uh, Roy's a genius and Amanda's an incredible lady, so it, uh, it was a lot of fun to do. I think she's going to link it to this video, so feel free to listen to that. Otherwise, today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about uh, my career path and how I came to work in regional theater. There's so many regional theaters doing really incredible work and I think it's really important to remember that you have a lot of wonderful options when making a choice of where to live and where to work. Frankly, I've had a really tough time trying to figure out what to say in light of the current pandemic. Truly, if life were normal and we weren't in such unprecedented times, I'd be knee deep in work at MTW right now. I'd be spending all of my time either in a huge rehearsal hall with a guild table full of snacks in the back, or in the dark theater, in my sweatshirt in the middle of the summer, or backstage leading an incredible crew of apprentices who certainly teach me more every summer than I teach them. So I'm having a little trouble because I miss it. Uh, mostly I miss the people. Uh, MT Wichita is a community, a family. For the first time in 10 years, I'm not spending my summer at Camp MTW and it's just weird. One of my favorite things about working with MTW is the people. I have an opportunity to work with veterans of the field who teach me tricks in my trade. You know, you're never too old to learn and you should never stop trying. I also get to work with a group of artists who are just starting their careers. And although I don't think of myself as a person with any great knowledge necessarily, I've been asked several times what they should do after graduation, how they should find their next job. I laugh and tell them that if I were to do it again, I would do some research, find a community that I had viable work in, that I really loved, and that you should move to there and try to figure it out and make it work. I think it's easy to be happy in your job if you're happy in your life. However, that's not what I did. I landed in Minnesota where it snows a lot and this Oklahoma girl will never get used to it. However, I've decided that if the weather is the most complicated thing I have to deal with, I'm still doing okay. I got really lucky. I found the right communities despite the weather. I grew up in rural Oklahoma. I went to Southeastern Oklahoma State University in Southeastern Oklahoma. Uh, Southeastern is the home to a summer stock company called the Oklahoma Shakespeare Festival that still operates today. Everyone in my department really hoped to snag a job. Uh, in the summer, one of those positions, they were always so sacred. It was so much fun and it gave you something great to do in the summer. The senior staff also worked really hard to bring in professionals who not only teach us about our craft, but sort of guide us through the business, all those things that they don't teach you in school. I was part of the festival stage management staff there for several years and, and there's a direct link between my work at OSF and the path that would lead me to my first professional job and my equity card. The summer before my senior year, I was at OSF working as an assistant stage manager. As I mentioned, the staff worked hard to set us up for success and they certainly did right by me. That summer, I worked with an incredible lighting designer who was a lighting designer by heart and a stage manager by trade, as she put it. Nicole DeDrew was the equity stage manager at Phoenix Theater in Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, and I really loved working with her. It was a really incredible experience. But later that year, Nicole was looking for a non-equity ASM for her next season, and she thought of me. I was so tickled. I was so excited. I'll never forget when she called and she asked me how I felt about Phoenix. I laughed and said, well, I understand it's really hot. I spent two seasons with Nicole at Phoenix Theater and I got my equity card there. Once I took my equity card, I found myself in a new position. I was no longer eligible for the non-equity ASM position I held, so it was time to move on. I wasn't sure what I was going to do or where I was going to go, so I started applying to every stage manager casting call I could find. And it wasn't very long, luckily, until I was offered a job in St. Paul, Minnesota at Park Square Theater. So I moved to Minnesota. During my first contract, I was asked to return for another show in the spring. While on that contract, I met another local stage manager who ironically would become my best friend and give me the best advice I've ever been given. Elizabeth told me when I asked if I should, how I should go about getting work in the cities, you know, who I should meet, what I should do. She laughed and said, well, befriend another stage manager. 
Elizabeth taught me that in regional theater, when a company asks a stage manager to take a job, if they can't take it, they'll often ask for a recommendation from that stage manager. Well, do you know anyone who might be available? Especially in smaller and mid-sized companies. So I'd always been taught that networking was important, but I had never really thought of it this way. Don't get me wrong, I'd been meeting with productive I'd been meeting with production stage managers at larger regional theaters. I'd taken my resume and cover letter to stage doors, even with a cup of coffee sometimes, and drop them off for the PSM. I'd done everything I could to stick out for all the right reasons. I had also been trying to find a place to call home. I really loved working in different theaters with different groups of people, but what I wanted to do was musical theater, and at the time, there wasn't a lot of it happening in the Twin Cities. I even continued to send my resume to out-of-town companies. In the summer of 2010, I was asked to be a part of the MTW stage management team. I was so excited. I'd applied for years, and that year, David Neville, the production manager, contacted me to let me know that the stage management staff would be returning and there were no open positions for the summer. I responded thanking David for the note and letting him know that if something were to change, I was always interested. So when one of the equity stage managers decided not to return, I got a call. I was nervous because I already had another job lined up, but I've never regretted the decision to change my plan. Because I grew up in Oklahoma, my folks were so close, and I tell you, you won't find a more supportive and encouraging group of people than those who run summer stock. They're really cut from a special cloth. Meanwhile, I'd been asked to stage manage a production of Evita for Theater Latte Da in the fall. I was super excited about that too. First off, I love that show, but also Latte Da was a nomadic mid-sized musical theater. They didn't have a home theater space. They performed in spaces all over town. So I got to know lots of different theater staffs in town and I loved it. Of course, that's been a lot of years ago. Uh, I still work for Latte Da. Latte Da mostly performs in one venue these days. We have a home at the Ritz Theater in Northeast Minneapolis. I don't think I could have been more proud if I had bought the theater myself. It was such an incredible feeling to grow up alongside such an incredible company. I've been living between the two companies for over 10 years now. I spend my year late August to May in Minneapolis at Theater Latte Da and my summers in Wichita with you all at Empty Wichita. I love bouncing between the cities and the companies. It allows me to continue to work with some of the usual suspects and fine tune my skills, but it also gives me the opportunity to work with new people and continue to learn from each process. There's so many incredible regional theaters to choose from. Be sure to think of them when you're trying to decide what your next big step may be. It may not be as far away as you think. I've been very fortunate. I have a great career and I wouldn't have it any other way. I know the world and my theater communities will not be the same and when we all return and when we're able to gather together again. I look forward to the changes. I know we'll come back better, stronger for having taken part in this moment and doing our part. Before I go, I wanna give another huge thank you to Amanda and the MTW staff, not only for their patience with this video, <laughs> took me a while, but also for working so hard to keep so many of us engaged with each other and with all of you in this unprecedented time. Thank you so much. Thanks for taking a minute to watch. Stay safe and wear a mask because I really miss work.